Let's get down to penis and suck off five guys. All right. What is this? Because we got to pre-record, right? Yeah. This is, I believe, Sunday. This is tomorrow. Tomorrow show or Sunday? Sh- yeah. Tomorrow show. June second. June second. All right. Okay. And maybe if you guys are lucky, or actually, did you format it already? No, I'm not formatting. Nice. We have a bonus, very bad episode for you guys. <laughs> bonus, bonus. <coughs> There's a couple to, fun parts. I just got to mark down these. Uh, the Today's a bonus, though. God, fuck this piece of shit. The next one's going to be a regular one. You're the gayest man I've ever sucked. No. And you come, taste like... Blue Chew. <laughs> Damn. <coughs> that's now that's how we really sell advertisers. If, it, if you promise flavored cum. No, 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 no. We place them in our songs about oh, being gay. Oh, if we make jingles for them. That is next level. I agree. We got to get our marketing department on that. They got to pay more for that. <laughs> yeah. <they've laughs> if we place you in a song about being gay or being, uh-huh. gay with, and being gay with your dad specifically. Plus, you know, we're putting ourselves at risk by doing... Uh, copyrighted material. Copyrighted yeah. For profit, but it's parody, right? It's parody for profit. It's for profit parody. <laughs> yeah. okay. Just like Saturday Night Live. <laughs> All right, I got my calendar looking, looking the way I want it here. Oh yeah, fuck, this is annoying. Like a man's ass. Yeah, hold on. God damn. I bought bro. the cheapest headphones on Amazon. We just need a longer cord, baby. This is the one that came with them. We'll buy you a new cord. I think I have a cord at home that I'll bring next time. Yeah. Was it just an auxiliary cord? Yeah. It's a cord for some headphones. Mm-hmm. Yep. Not an auxiliary cord. Bitch. Actually, it, it, I think that's literally what it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got one more. Doesn't auxiliary mean like, I don't know, like an accessory or... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Isn't it yeah. a general term? That's right. Then yeah. Why well, is it... Sometimes why is words have different <laughs> meanings. But why does that get and to be the cord? Uses. Like, should it be a, a sound cord or something like that? Does uh, auxiliary mean sound? I think you could no. say sound cord. People would get it. Doesn't it. sound right though. It's also auxiliary uh, doesn't mean sound though. Thirty <laughs> thirty-five millimeter. That's good. Say, call it that. Yeah. Auxiliary could mean a lot of different stuff, right? One one eighth inch or it's a thirty. One eighth, yeah. Yeah, one eighth inch or thirty-five millimeter. Nice. Both bigger than Adam's dick. Yeah. I they should call it the that. bigger than Adam's dick cord. Yeah, you don't know about that. Yeah, I bet you don't know yeah. about it. Everyone else knows about that. <laughs> we all text each other. <laughs> the whole what world is in a group else. chat. Everyone's, everyone's got the inside Sometimes scoop. Sometimes I feel like that. <laughs> like the entire world's in some sort of group chat talking about me. Just it's called about narcissism. Just about your dick, your how bi- how your how dick small is my dick is. That's all they talk about. An ox cord. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What are some other definitions of auxiliary? Um... Uh, like, could, does the military use it? How about luxury? Okay. You know, I'm not trying You're to... wearing lugs, boots, I'm not worried about auxiliary. I'm worried about luxury. Like is luxury? That a man- is that t- I want leather, leather wires. <laughs> yeah. All my velvet wires. wires. All my wires velvet. <laughs> <laughs> I pull oh, up, yeah. you know, I pull up to the, the holes on the radio, mm-hmm. and I say... Blow, velvet. Black owl. Black owl, velvet. <laughs> I got velvet wires for that ass. That's right, bitch. Let me plug some shit in. I plug my speakers in with beautiful shag carpeting. Mm-hmm. Uh. Shag carpeting wires. I wanted a van with shag carpeting. Yeah, everybody did. Really? Everybody cool. I think we Me and you that. had the same exact <laughs> dumb, desires. Like just the gayest. <laughs> just the lamest shit. <laughs> I was like, fuck, that would be awesome to have. But I wanted specifically... Damn, I can't wait. I would love to have a house with one of those giant soccer balls. Oh, yeah. And I would invite my friends over to play giant soccer. That would be awesome. What about mm-hmm. a secret door behind a book bookcase? No. You no. never wanted that? No. To have gay sex No, behind? never. That's no, it's not about s- keeping secrets. It's just about that the door is a no, secret. No, that's not. No one, no one cool wanted that scared a secret me. door. Yeah. People, you thought that was scary? I see. I was scared of you that You guys didn't think shit. that was cool? I thought and it was And paintings stupid. with eyes mm-hmm. well, that's, where you look. That's, what uh, I did want was a control, a secret c- underground control room, with mo- like a panic room. No, that's yeah, scary, How do you too. get to that? I wanted to live in a utopia where you didn't need any of that stuff. It's not a secret door. Just a secret door. You pull one book and it 
opens the whole. I wall. always, I my, in the my childhood fantasies, fantasies, I always imagined getting there through the ventilation system. Yeah, that I did want to do. Crawl through the vents. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Crawl through the vents and it leads to a of control room house? where I could launch missiles at people. Okay. Yeah. I see. I never went to violence. Yeah. I think I was just being sneaky. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know what I wanted to do through the vents. Yeah. Uh-huh. That'd be hilarious, a story about a young Stavros getting stuck in the vents. <laughs> oh, for sure, I would not be able to. They would not hold me. <laughs> I was like 200 pounds very quick. <laughs> <laughs> I got the two bills fast. Before, <laughs> before what sixth age? grade? Probably in fifth grade. Fifth grade, Damn. come on. Probably. <laughs> I, 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 was, I was basically in this height in fifth grade. You grew fast. I was like, me and Elders were the same height, and then I just stopped growing in seventh grade. Wow. It was so annoying. Wow. And then he got to be tall as shit, and I'm just a fucking short little fat piece of shit. Uh-huh. And, and I don't get any of the privileges from, you know, that the world gives tall men. Mm-hmm. Eldest is a beneficiary of so oh, many privileges. Oh, you're right. His life seems see a lot him, better than if you. If you see him, like... <laughs> Eldest seems to be doing so he much better than yeah. you. <laughs> Dude, on a personal... Like, yes... Without, without the the strife that I've, without trying to, it's uh, made you stronger. It has made me stronger. It's made you funny. Sure. Yeah. But I would prefer to not be. There's funny never been a tall, funny person ever. That's true. <laughs> yeah. That's a fact. <laughs> so true. Gary Goldman, not funny at not all. Not funny. Jock. Definitely get out. Get the off best. the stage, Jock. I want to see his fucking new special, but I'm gonna be gone when when he tapes it. He taped me here. He taped me in Brooklyn. Uh, is it all of his rules? All of his comedy rules? No. But those are helpful tips. Are they? I like them, yes. I yeah. don't read them. They make me nervous. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Nervous um, how? I just don't want to hear about the process in such an earnest way. Yeah. What's your process, Adam? I, I can't talk about it. Somebody does something funny. Yeah, he and sees something happen. He sees someone do something funny. Oh, and, then you, <laughs> okay. and then he tells yeah. the story. That's not what happens. And then he, yeah. <laughs> he just repeats something he saw someone else do. No, that's not what my He's learned to only steal is. from people not in comedy now. Yeah. Just that's that. not true. <laughs> that's not what I do on stage. His he asks is. people on the train, do you guys know any good yeah. jokes? <laughs> or black people? Yeah, he asks black people if they know something funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> First of all, what do you think of my sneakers? Second of all, <laughs> have you heard any good jokes yet? <laughs> no, I'm not writing this down. Ah, <laughs> yeah. oh, fuck. Um, but of course, obviously they're joking, and that's not what my craft or process is. It's a lot more detailed. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, why don't you walk us through it? Well, well, Dasha like says something, and then he <laughs> yeah, forgets yeah, that yeah, Dasha yeah, said yeah. it. <laughs> That's that's and even worse than you saying me <laughs> copying things that happen. <laughs> <laughs> that's even worse. Da- he forgets that Dasha said I would never it. steal from a bitch who's currently he's doing stealing it. from me. He's doing it on stage. <laughs> and then, you know, maybe mm-hmm. politely she says, I came up with that. <laughs> I'm like, no, you didn't. You're gaslighting me. Stop gaslighting. Stop it, dude. <laughs> I know what you're starting to talk about or what you could start talking about right now, and I don't have it in me. I literally don't. I was at that fucking bookstore, and we don't <laughs> have to get into it. Oh, man. <laughs> that is gaslighting. We don't have to get into it. Damn. I knew, I Listen, I, I can now see Nick's brain work. Mm-hmm. That's one good thing about us being such... Such good pals for so many years. I literally wasn't you even know thinking about the No, to. there's no way he was thinking about it. I completely have forgotten about that. I've decided to move on, I think. I'm not moving on. We're at an <laughs> impasse. <laughs> that, I don't count that as a victory. <laughs> Your decision to move on, like you're the... Is it stalemate? Like he's just, yeah, he's he's walking away from it. I am. No. I'm walking away from it. No, I wow. need... Because it doesn't really you're matter to closure. me. closure. Who it matters to is the one that's emotionally abusive and is gaslighting him. You're the gaslighter. That's the one who can't drop it. You're the gaslighter. That's the one who can't can't ever let it go. Gaslighting just means lying, huh? No, gaslighting is making someone think they're crazy. Oh. You make you make the other person think they're but crazy. But that's a form of lying. It could yeah, be. I mean, gaslighting is like there's many different it's some you shit can, that you pre- just said. pretending that they don't remember something is like is a form of gaslighting. Gotcha. Which you know, be like you you call your girlfriend a cunt, and then a week later she's like, "But you called me a cunt." And you're like, "I honestly don't even remember that." And it's like you, they do remember. Gotcha. 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 Yeah. Gotcha. yeah. That's interesting. That's, that's called lying. being a cool boy. It's lying. Yeah. That's yeah. 
So gaslighting equals lying. Mm-hmm. It doesn't everybody, equal lying. Everybody has to have there cool could be fucking lying words that, for everything. There could be lying that but isn't gaslighting. it's essentially lying. No, it's mm-hmm. more specific That's, than that. It's fine. It's a, it's the, the, now we're having the chimps versus bonobos debate again. Mm-hmm. Exactly. No. It's a set subset <laughs> yeah, of yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now we're starting all our debates <laughs> over again. Is that what's gas happening? Gaslighting is a subset of lying. <laughs> Let's get all the debates oh going again. <laughs> because gaslighting implies a like a rewriting of the record. Lying. It's retconning. Lying. Well, yeah, there's lying. lying. But it's lying like it, it's not like <laughs> lying is involved, but it is it is like yeah, it's more retconning than lying. It's a specific kind of lying. The way a chimp or a bonobo is a specific kind of chimp. That's right. That's what yes. I was saying. But we're not talking about species. And so you could yes, we are. But he's saying it's a set okay, subset I see what you're situation. Thank you. I Thank know what you, you're Nick. saying. Thank we you. We all agree. We all agree, and we can move forward. When I was at the book. For the record, Adam did not agree. <laughs> I did agree. I said that. And oh, a, fr- a gas, a fresh gaslight. Listen, we all agree that I was at the bookstore. I'm still. I'm swinging back to thinking you were now. Honestly, that I was. That you were. Good. Thank you, Stavros. Um, and that's how the gaslighting process works. That's <laughs> not. I'm not gaslighting. It convinces stuff. you that you're crazy. <laughs> you're you're like, I guess Adam me. must be right. No, I've moved on. I don't care. What is ga- Where does that word come from? A book, some, some kind of no, book. It's the movie Gaslight. No. Oh, there's a movie. There's, there's a book called Gaslight. There's a movie called Gaslight. It was probably based on I a think book. It's a book. Well, you, you don't read books and you <laughs> haven't seen the movie. <laughs> if you see the movie, you don't. Both have to of read those the book. things are true, but I think I heard someone at some point, and it might have been what one is of it? You. Someone well, all that dumb girl bullshit is like not it's actual. Shit. It's not actual science. It's like you know, like the Bechdel test. That was just some dumb bitch. That wasn't like she, she like drew comics and she's like I Her came name up was with it. Some bitch named like fucking Katie. Yeah, who Bechdel. cares? Science is gay, dude. I well, I mean, you know, it's like. It's wrong, and I, I don't think women should be saying things. I personally, is, that is a wild. I, I don't test, think though. that they should. It's really depressing yeah. for women. That's that's hilarious. That they have to hold. I was like, oh come on, this can't be that many movies. It's and then you movie. see it's every fucking movie. Yeah, yeah, but it's also the movies they make for themselves. That's right. You yeah. know, mm-hmm. <clears throat> it's like I mean, a movie about a woman getting her shit together. It's always like because she got dumped. True. You know? Mm-hmm. It's never like... Well, I guess gravity doesn't... Gravity is because her kid died. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one movie. That's the only movie that passes the Bechdel test? I think so. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, but another, it was a male child. There's not another female character. But she movie. fucked the kid. What's that? It was a man. So if there's fucked. not another female character, then it, then it fails matter. the Bechdel test. It has to be two oh, women. Yeah, talk- Unless George Clooney was trans. Two women not talking about a man. That's Clooney true. Trans? I'm just trying to think of movies where, like... The woman's motivation. The Avengers probably. No, yeah. Thanos is a man. Thanos. If Thanos wasn't a man, and Scarlett Johansson and somebody else, I can't some even other think bitch. of another bitch. <laughs> that green bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the green bitch. Zoe Saldana. But is it in a romantic context, or is it just talking about a man? I think it's not even romantic. I think it's just talking about. Damn, a man. really? Yeah. And it's they still don't pass that shit. That no. is pretty gay. For There's women. never been a movie that's passed the fact. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. Maybe bridesmaids. They must have. No, they were always talking about a man. Yeah, it's literally a movie about a woman getting married. Yeah, but they probably talk about something like, "What do you want for dinner?" Yeah, but the whole point. I mean, the movie is about women that oh oh uh, aren't married and their friend is. Hold on, what about? They all feel like whores because of it. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. (laughs) That's and therein lies the comedy. Is that (laughs) all women are whores really? And it's just because she's getting married doesn't mean she's not a slut. Interesting. Yeah, Yeah, she can't she can't shed her slut past. Really, if you look at the movie, it's sort of a criticism of the men that allow women to tie them down. Tie them. Touch, yeah, Tim Despite Heidecker. The fact. Tim Heidecker really should be getting different pussy than you, Maya Rudolph. Exactly. Movie. Yes, and John mm-hmm. Hamm. John mm-hmm. Hamm's the only good one. Yeah, because he just uses Kirsten Kristen Wiig's pussy up like a hand, right. like a hand. Yeah, like yeah. a ham. Like a he ham. fucks it like a microwaved ham, which yeah. is his last name. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nicery, nicery. Nice to redo that. Suck on my nuts. Uh huh. Um, okay, let's figure out one movie that passes the Bechdel test. What about Annihilation? I never saw it. Mortal Kombat Annihilation? 
No. No, they go into the... F- Natalie Portman, is that thing? Natalie never Portman, saw it. Yeah. Tessa Thompson. They go into the forest. And they shoot some shit. It looked cool, but then someone said it wasn't an action movie like I thought it might be. And then I was like... It was just scary. Snooze! Yeah. Oh, what about a ho- that horror movie where an old bitch traps a young bitch? Oh, what is that? What movie? It's... Uh, I don't know. It's called like... Ernestine or some shit like that. Er, one of the Ernest movies? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's Chloe, Grace Moritz, and some old lady. And the old lady, it's a horror movie. That one passes. We did it, guys. Yeah, okay. Was there ever an Ernest goes to Israel? No. But he should have. <laughs> <laughs> a birthright Ernest? What the uh, hell? Ernest fires a rocket at Palestinian mm-hmm. children. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're doing their own holocaust. <laughs> <laughs> they got their own camps. <laughs> Gassing all these kids. <laughs> hey, Vern. <laughs> they got Jew Nazis over here. <laughs> Vern. <laughs> oh, wow. There's a kind of American... The producers are like, anti-Semite. no, I don't think we'll be making that this. One. We'll, we'll, we'll be passing, we'll be passing on this. <laughs> <laughs> as much as we enjoyed Ernest Goes to the Beach, I don't think we will be producing Ernest Goes to Israel. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. Damn. Well, how about it's Halloween or something? Yeah, how about Ernest Goes Trick-or-Treating? <laughs> Okay, I like that. <laughs> and he goes to a Jew's house and they're handing oh, out no. pennies. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Pass. Uh, uh, yeah. Pass. <laughs> not, not that I like money. the idea that that man had so much power in Hollywood he could just be anti-Semitic. <laughs> 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 Look, we can't lose the Ernest movies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He makes over eighty thousand dollars a year in video <laughs> cassette <VHS>. sales. <laughs> <laughs> the man is an institution. Has anyone ever paid for an Ernest movie, or do they only watch them after getting them at the library? No, I rented Ernest movies from. You did, or, yeah. I feel like I got them exclusively from the library, but that might have been a, a, a little V. Halkius poor life hack. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I didn't even know Blockbuster existed for years. <sighs> Damn, that sucks. Yeah. And then we at at one point we went to this little independent one, right by Santoni's Market, uh-huh. off Eastern in, in Avenue. Independent blockbuster? No, like an independent video store. Oh, okay. And it was one of those that had pornography in the. Oh, back. after I mean, behind the beaded, mm-hmm. the beaded what do you, like yep. doorway thing? Literally, that's it was awesome. Tight. And I kept trying to sneak in there. Yeah, Blockbuster never had porn. No, and that's why they succeeded, and that's why this country is fucking little dicked as hell. The one that showed porn should have succeeded. Well, the internet would have killed that anyway. At some point. Yeah. But the internet killed it with Netflix anyway. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Now, I remember the porn sections in like record stores and stuff. Record stores? Yeah, record stores. Yeah, well, to like, you listen know, to like porn records? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> record stores so would also one. sell movies pretty much yeah. every Yeah, time. yeah, yeah. Yeah, like Tower Records and right. stuff. Yeah. I, never w- I only went to the one in uh, Fells Point... When I was trying to be cool, when I was like listening to classic rock in ninth grade. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, I would Tower go Records? Fucking, what the yeah. fuck was that one called? Soundgarden. Some fat girl is in there, and you're like, hey, you ever hear a bad company? And <laughs> she's like calling the police. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some rockabilly bald guy. <laughs> no, I was not. Bro, I was never rockabilly. <laughs> That is that is a creation yeah. of this podcast. There's, there's a guy in creepers and a. a, a ch- <laughs> I was never. There's a guy in creepers and a checkered bald, tank yeah. top. <laughs> I was never rockabilly, and I wasn't. He bald. keeps snapping until I was twenty. You went, went bald at around twenty. You went bald at nine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you hit that two hundred. Just uh, yeah. Once I hit that. Once I hit those two bills. Oh, I two threw on stacks. a wife beater. Stop rush two stacks. <laughs> Um, I was never rockabilly. I just appreciated Elvis at a young age, and I thought, and I wanted to be rockabilly. Uh-huh. There's a difference. I wanted to have greased up palmade ass hair and a yeah. leather jacket. I think we probably talked about it, but like I used to have this fantasy that I had control of a street gang when I was like five. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. The mental image was like, yeah, just six year olds dressed like leather daddies, <laughs> yeah. like spinning chains, yeah, like Tom of <laughs> Finland, six year olds. Yeah, yeah. I wanted yeah. to have a little clubhouse. Yeah. With my fucking boys, dude. Yeah. And I wanted to play guitar. 
Yeah. I wanted to be the lead, the singer and get the <laughs> did you ever Did you ever learn <laughs> Of the <guitar>? gang? Of <laughs> the gang. Yeah. We were also uh, a gang. Because yeah, yeah, it was all from little uh, little kid movies. Oh, you know yeah, yeah, like, for that's sure. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Everything was from a there stupid... There should be bands that are also gangs. <laughs> yeah, little kid band <laughs> That gang. makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that would have been awesome. Yeah, we just at that moment you became self aware, thinking you look so cool, and yeah, seeing your and reflection. Yeah, and I saw him in the mirror. I was like, "Who the fuck is this ugly motherfucker?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought I was <laughs> fucking handsome as shit. Yeah. I thought I was hot as shit. Uh, swooped over. That's how I saw myself. Every like in my self image, yeah. I had s- <laughs> greased up hair, yeah. combed to the side, <laughs> and a leather jacket on at all times. Yeah, right. <laughs> I looked in the mirror and I was like, "Who's this little fat?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That faggot in the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no. Do you think Uncle Jesse John Stamos, Greek, Greek hero, in, it was one hundred percent. It was one hundred percent. Yeah, it had Stamos. to have been. I remember being a little kid and thinking I could do impressions, and then like recording them and then playing them back. That's so funny. I used to and, do that too, and just like how off it was. Oh yeah. Because in my head, I'm like, no, I sound exactly like Will Smith. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used to record my my grandfather would send us tapes from Greece of like music he recorded from the radio. That's how cheap he was. He wouldn't set buy us mixtapes. Dude, he was trying to fuck. Yeah, and and uh, but even though they were bullshit, like my dad still like cherished them. And I used to fucking just record over them with my own fake radio talk show. Uh (laughs) And my dad like would throw them on. To fucking listen to them, and it would be like, "Oh, hello, folks! It's a uh, Stav's radio show now." <laughs> <laughs> my dad's like, "What the fuck? <laughs> Who fucking recorded he all didn't, my he shit?" He didn't reward your creativity. No, not only that, he actively punished me for it. What an asshole! Yeah, dude. I was. That just shows that you were a creative child. I know. I wanted to have my own little radio show, and it's like. Hello, everyone. It's Stav's radio show. Mom made mac and cheese and hot dogs today. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like... It was Dude, absolutely that is so gay. And <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. cut, cut up hot dogs in mac and cheese? Yeah. yeah. That's Tomorrow I'll be going to soccer practice. Yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> it's like you have to become funny if like your natural instincts as a child are be to be like the biggest faggot in the entire <laughs> yeah, yeah, world. Dude, yeah, I was yeah, such yeah. a faggot. You're like, oh, I got it. No, don't try to join in now. No. It's like, <laughs> I used to put on plays. Yeah, 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 would not let me have ice cream. <laughs> she said I had too much. Is that oh. your grandma? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, is that what the sisterhood is? Yep. About? It's about grandmas in Greece putting on pants and getting absolutely railed out by tourists. Mm. That's pretty sick. That was the first draft. You, you submitted it and then they changed. I submitted it and they, then they changed stole your my vision. intellectual property. The fucking Hollywood machine does mm-hmm. it again. Same people that I just wanted to make a movie about eighty-year-old widows that only wear black. That only wear black, but when they put on because they've been mourning for sixty years. Once they put on these magical pair of jeans, their pussies get wet for the first time since nineteen seventy-two. I watched Traveling Pants one time with my cousin. We like didn't know his sisterhood of the Traveling Pants, and like we'd been watching it for fifteen minutes. We both looked at each other. We're like. We might. We love. I just want to see the rest. I would like of the it movie. if that movie ends with the pants ending up in an evidence locker at uh, <laughs> the police station. No, with calm on. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for saying calm, as if everyone didn't get. <laughs> I guess the people at home didn't see Nick smiling and <laughs> the yeah. glint in his eyes, yeah, so they couldn't. A, they couldn't put the pieces together. Kind of a but. Cheshire cat <laughs> smile. <laughs> yeah. At the come, thought of come across four his face. fictional women getting raped <laughs> on vacation. <laughs> Yeah, that movie uh, featured Grease heavily. Oh, yeah, dude. That and uh, fucking Mama Mia. Yeah, dude. Come I watched that on the plane nuts. to Japan. You did? I loved it. Maybe I'll watch it on the plane. I love the music of ABBA. That's another gay thing about my yeah. childhood. Oh, dude. The, the music I listened to as a kid. Purely like gir- like boy bands, Spice Girls. <laughs> like fucking I knew that was gay. <laughs> I at least knew that was gay. A- fucking ABBA, fucking um, uh, it's a cruel, cruel banana rama. Banana rama, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was the music my video. Shit, the music dude. video for that song creeps me out. Cruel What's summer? the music video for Banana Rama's "Cruel Summer"? It just creeps me out. What happens in it? They're just walking around like the Lower East Side in Williamsburg and mm. shit. But it's like, you know, most like 
they're probably disgusting now. Yeah. yeah. You know? Oh, you're just thinking of aging. Yeah, well, yeah. Them aging. It's just something about it just feels like death, and I don't know like, what it is. <laughs> but just this, like the idea of like, I I don't know. Like I I, I like I watch it and I see like these are like, you know, three like young pop stars or whatever. They're like what like. Oh, we're making a music video in uh, fucking New York or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Are they Canadian? No, they're Irish. Oh, oh they were? I thought they were like Swedish or no, something. No, th- I'm pretty sure they're Irish. But they, uh, yeah, it's like, but then like that, like there's there's nothing to feel good about. You're just going to get old and die. And it's like all these mm-hmm. people have AIDS at the time. Not them, but like. Yeah, they're walking I, through a graveyard. Of yeah, AIDS. right, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. There's just a lot going on that just like makes me like uncomfortable interesting it's I, weird it's one of those things and it's i didn't i never really i, I think i was talking to um ryan beck mm-hmm. about it uh years ago and like i never like vocalized i never like said it out loud but he like he said it and i was <laughs> like that i fucking get that but the cheers uh intro you still like creep me the fuck out. Oh, the drawings. Really? Yeah, it just. Oh, like, the drawings. You're right. They were. Yeah, there was, was something weird, weird about them. Yeah. Well, the old photographs and shit, yeah. and it's like this idea that like all of these people are having fun, but they're all dead now. Yeah. You know, so it like. Interesting. Yeah, yeah you're right. You know, it's yeah, like that's dark. Bro. Uh, well, I don't know. It used to just creep me out. Yeah. That's what it is. I guess it's the banana rama things. The same thing. <laughs> but, yeah, just like the idea of people. Like having fun, and I'm gonna be young forever, or yeah. whatever. And it's like and then no, you, you see won't. them now; they're just yeah. horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then to think, oh, my youth is already gone, and yeah. I didn't have fun. Yeah, yeah. I wasted <laughs> it. Uh-huh. I completely wasted it. <laughs> I spent my fucking youth doing open mics in seafood restaurants mm-hmm. for fucking Dave Chauffeur. Yeah, Uncle fucking Dave. Uncle Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Dave comedy. Uncle motherfucker. One time Dave. when I was like first starting, someone's like, Uncle Dave's in the in the audience, so you might want to do a good set. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, even at that point when I didn't know what what the fuck was going on, I was like, I I r- highly doubt that this is <laughs> a big industry. Yeah, dude. Yeah. He was the he controlled the Red House Tavern. There were so many dumb motherfuckers. They were the Uncle best. Dave's in the audience. Did you ever meet so you Sensei wanna... Ernie? I never. <laughs> Sensei Ernie. No. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? It's just like it big, sounds like we're making these guys up. Not nah, real. They're real big, people. Big, big, uh, big fucking nerdy white guy that like maybe taught karate or something. Hell yes, he was dude. also a magician and Hell he was like yes. just fucking terrible. Yeah, but he was like an open micer and he would come to Wise Acres and then come to like, uh, I guess we would go like hang out at Clyde's afterwards sometimes. Nice. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. He the Sensei. Be. Yeah, Sensei Ernie. Nah. Uncle Dave ran shit, baby. There was another uncle. <laughs> was there a different uncle? There was a different Damn. Uncle. <laughs> yeah. The uncle's Dave. Did he send and... his little dick pics to female open micers? No. <laughs> <laughs> his tiny dick. His tiny pink ass penis. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you probably got a pink dick, Nick, huh? It's more. Well, I guess it's multiple colors. Yeah, it's pink. It's purple ish. Yeah, yeah, my shit's pink. kind of blue. Yeah. No. Blue? Greeny. No. <laughs> green. A yeah. sick green. <laughs> a sickly, a gangrenous cock. Yeah, I have a gangrenous cock. It's that like makes yellowy sense. green. Mm. Yeah. Do you have to drain it? Uh, Yeah, I have to drain it three times a day. I have like a little <laughs> spout that I turn. I was watching videos the other day of like uh, people that get like hematomas underneath their thumbnail. Uh, like their nail. And uh, you get like a blood blister. Uh, and you heat up a needle and no. then burn a hole through uh, the... the nail? The nail to uh, let the blood out. No, fuck that. And apparently it's supposed to be really relieving, but that, yeah, you have to like burn a hole through the fingernail. That's with, fucked up. Yeah. I hate that. Yeah. I But I saw it and I'm like, damn, I hope that happens. You wish, yeah, yeah you yeah. want you want a blood <laughs> blister <laughs> under your cool. fucking finger. Yeah. cool project. Yeah. <laughs> I hate blisters, dude. Yeah. Although there is something nice about popping them bitches, seeing that weird pus. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then you have that baggy like that little skin. baggy shit. Mm-hmm. Looks like a condom after Which you, you con- wait. You yeah, came in you it. wait for it to fall off, mm-hmm. and it's nasty. Damn, dude, fucking, I freaking hate condoms, man. Mm-hmm. What about you, fellas? I freaking hate them. Go, too. go <laughs> off. No uh, one should use them. Damn. What did you guys think of the? Since we're going down memory lane, what did you think of the Mentos commercials? I, that was like one of the first things I learned how to like <laughs> do parodies of. I loved them. 
Yeah. Even though they were weird and they were so different than American shit because they were European. Uh-huh. Well, you know my opinion on twins anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, no. When I was be like, able to suck each other's dicks, they do <laughs> suck each other's dicks, and they're all lying if they say they haven't. <laughs> when I was a little kid, they're all like, sixty nine. <laughs> when I would watch those Mentos commercials, I would laugh so hard just imagining like a guy like hitting on a girl, and she's like, "No," or whatever. And then he's like, you know, eats the Mentos, and then he goes in his car, and he's like, "But a but a but but," and he gets a gun. But yeah, that was like a big hit for me. When I was oh yeah, that's big. Mm-hmm. That's big time. I remember trying putting a Mentos. I was like, Mom, I need a fucking Mentos. Because I thought any problem I had, I could just pop a Mentos mm-hmm. in yeah. my mouth. Mm-hmm. It's so like, funny how like susceptible to commercials. <laughs> Dude, are. Like, it would be like my friends wouldn't let me get a turn at playing the Power Rangers mm-hmm. Nintendo game. And then I would eat a Mentos and ask again. And they'd be like... No, <laughs> we already did. I was be like, "What the fuck? This candy sucks, dick." And no. it didn't taste that good. Mentos no. fucking well, suck. it's not candy. It's a breath mint. What? Yeah, I Mentos is not. Know. It's not candy. You're yeah, eating. It's a mint. <laughs> I thought it was candy. <laughs> That's why it freshens. They say it's Mentos freshens. No. But it's so it chewy. Yeah. No, it's gum. You're, you're, you're just <laughs> eating gum. It's like half mint, half gum. Uh. Damn, I would. Honestly, gulp those bitches up whenever I got them. You know what's the yeah. most incredible candy in the world? What's that? The high chew. High chew's not that good. It's a gum sucks. that you can swallow. No, this is oh, cr- this is a garbage not, take. What gum. are you talking about? It's amazing. Yeah. No, that's no, a no. Stu- the greatest candy in the fucking world. Mango high chew is my favorite. Shut candy. up. No, you're out of your fucking. Now mind. listen, is there some kind of good quality to a high chew? Sure, it's better than it should be in terms of the sensation of having it, of chewing it, and then being able to swallow it afterwards. Because it's like you can never swallow Does gum. Does it remind you of a man's cum? You don't chew cum. <laughs> you do. Why would you chew you a... Do. You do. You seem to know a lot about how to swallow and drink cum, Adam. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know that. Yeah. I just... I we don't know. I thought you chewed it. I've never seen the cum, cum <laughs> like that comes out of your dick. Yeah, sure. No, it's I don't look at it. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I look yeah. at my fucking that dick. Is well, that is gay. That is gay. What are you, <laughs> gay? <laughs> I, I see the, the base cum. of my cock when it comes, because if it's in a girl's mouth, but I don't see the cum. Yeah. Because I'm not gay. Every time you've ever busted is inside a girl's mouth, and she swallowed time. it. Yeah. You don't know what the blast looks like. I've never seen Well, cum. you know if she chews or not after you've busted her no, mouth. No, because I close my eyes. Mm-hmm. You close your eyes out of respect. And I'm imagining a white woman. That is what I like about you. I'm imagining a white woman instead. What's that? That's why my eyes closed. I only fuck black girls. Right. But I have my eyes closed. But to you're imagine, racist, yeah. But I'm racist. Interesting. So, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> White women won't fuck me because I'm racist. Uh, so he has to close his will. eyes because and I don't the tell black them. women. Ah, yeah. interesting. You're lying to them. Yeah. Well, I'm not lying to them. You're I'm gaslighting g- them. Yeah, but gaslighting only applies to white women. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, it hasn't reached uh, <laughs> yeah. other communities. Uh, black women and Puerto Rican Rican women just fight with you. Right. If you try and get they just them, argue. Just punch They're them. from the old school where you can just have disputes with people right. and say things. Yes. They don't like experience their relationships through a series of group chats on Twitter. Interesting. And uh, you know, supplanting <laughs> psychotherapy for a network of women they barely know on the internet. Right. You know. That's the move now. That is true. I get all my relationship advice from, from uh, group chats. From yeah, someone with an anime avatar. Yeah. It's like it sounds like you're being abused. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, thank you. I'm gonna call the police right now. Yes? Oh no, they they watch things on my Netflix account and it fucked up my suggestions. Mm-hmm. What do you mean that's not rape? <laughs> well, my Tell that fr- to my algorithm. Why don't you <laughs> fucking speak to my friends in my uh, in my group chats who say otherwise? That's right. Who say it's a form of physical violence? Mm-hmm. Why don't you speak to hmm, what's a pun with a Japanese guy's name? Huh? Honda Element. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hi, my name is uh, Honda. <laughs> Element. <laughs> Element. <laughs> Sir, that's just the name of a car. <laughs> Shh, shut up. Listen, <laughs> this is a real phone call. <laughs> <laughs> shut up for a second. Sir, that's the name of a car. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you're in a Honda dealership uh, right ma'am. now. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> I'm a man. Ma'am, I'm a police officer. <laughs> 
named Officer Honda Element. <laughs> and I demand to have this car for free. <laughs> <laughs> You're wearing t- uh, hot sauce sweatpants <laughs> bottoms? <laughs> yeah. Paj- You're wearing hot sauce pajama bottoms? Yeah. You're wearing the top ramen clothes from Target. <laughs> <laughs> There's a hole in your little part of your penis is sticking through it, sir. <laughs> uh, sir, you're, you, you're opening your wallet, and it's just filled with diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a Velcro wallet, by the so way. That's not a badge. It's a Velcro wallet. <laughs> it's a Velcro wallet full of shit. I'm a police officer named Honda Element, and I, de- <laughs> I demand to have this card. Sir, you've written Honda Element in <laughs> diarrhea. Ma'am? <laughs> Excuse me. Where's the? At least let me have free coffee from the coffee machine. <laughs> okay, if that means you'll leave, you can have some coffee. No, I'll pay you, with this sir. Diarrhea. What are you doing with that tent, <laughs> ma'am? This is a stakeout. <laughs> I'm on a stakeout. We believe someone is trying to steal the Honda Element from the showroom, <laughs> and I'm on assignment. <laughs> <laughs> the police department has asked me to jack the off captain, in this tent. I am to live in this tent, and you are to bring me some of the animal crackers from next to the coffee machine <laughs> to live off of until we get to the bottom of who's trying to steal. Yes, I said my name was Honda Element earlier. I was confused. <laughs> well, it is my name, but yeah. my name it's is, a coincidence. My name is Toyota Viper. <laughs> <laughs> Detective <laughs> Detective Toyota Viper, by the way. <laughs> and I no I know you close at seven, but what part of I am a police officer don't you understand? You've seen my badge. Ah <laughs> uh, fuck. That's a good con, dude. Yeah. That's another good con. Yeah. Da 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 da. <laughs> See, here's the thing. Get you in, put, boys. You Come put in. the big bill on the outside, and then you stroll right in, pretend to have Down syndrome, <laughs> and you walk out with all the candy in the store. <laughs> uh, what's the point of uh, putting the bill on the outside? Oh, I don't know. It just looks cool. <laughs> the key is that they think you're mentally retarded. That's right. But it's the 1920s, Frank. Wouldn't I just be in prison? <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't they send me to a jail with gay people yeah, and other retards? <laughs> wouldn't I just be in prison? <laughs> for, wouldn't I be charged with mental retardation? <laughs> Damn, they really, really did not have a good go at things. Yeah. For quite some time. Mm-hmm. And still not, you know. Oh, no, they get to speak to Congress now. That is they true. all go to the Olympics. First of all, being a retarded they all person. Get in. Being a retarded person sounds awesome. Yeah, it does. First of all, there's no greater accomplishment than like working a minimum wage job that's subsidized by the state. So it's like you don't even get paid, really. Yeah. They make like a dollar a week. Really? Oh, yeah. Wait, what do you mean it's subsidized? The they don't comp- get the, 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 the McDonald's does that whole thing about like we hire retarded people, uh-huh. yeah, you know, yeah, army yeah, heroes. Yeah. It's And I haven't looked into this at all. Yeah. But they. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they like get like huge like tax breaks or whatever, mm. or, or like you know they McDonald's, but they still get the paycheck. The guy, the the retarded guy gets the paycheck, yeah. but you know they get paid like prison money, right? Oh, really? They don't make minimum because wage? they get housing. I don't think they get minimum wage. Interesting. I think there's some like thing where it's like yeah, they get again. Th- yeah. You haven't looked into. I it. I have not looked, and it does not sound right. It but sounds we'll go right. With it. Let me look it up. <laughs> Let me look up whether retarded people get paid for <laughs> or if they're treated like prisoners. I'm gay. Um, <clears throat> what would your job be if you were mentally uh, retarded? Movie right? theater ticket tear guy. That's a good one. I would say grocery. Because I get to meet so many nice people going to see the movies. Mm-hmm. I get to tell them the wrong theater to go into. <laughs> <laughs> Go to of, eight. That is one of the perks. Of Even the though they're like, "Well, my ticket it says I'm in theater 11. No, it's eight. It's eight. Um, uh, hi, I just sent you to a girl movie. Oh, that would be. Oh, yeah. so you would know. I would know. I'd do little tricks yeah, and then have a little mischievous smile. And smile and then be like, yeah, oh, here we Adam. go. And advocates of the disabled are trying to change a law that allows some employers to pay workers less than the minimum wage because they have a disability. Wow, that is fucked up. Why is that <laughs> the law? <laughs> That's the joke we were doing, is that yeah. you would be in prison in the 20s. Right, and it's right. like, well, you're retarded. We can't pay you minimum wage. Federal law allows about 30 employees and wa- employers in Washington to pay workers less than minimum wage because those workers have disabilities that 
that impair their productivity for the work being performed. Oh, that's wild. But advocates say this practice exploits people who deserve a shot at being productive. Yeah, I don't know how it works exactly, but yeah, those companies hire retarded people because you can pay them less. Damn. And it, and they still would do work. What the fuck? To a certain extent, yeah. It's like if you're bagging groceries or sweeping or whatever the fuck. But imagine if, like, imagine how shitty that feels if you're the other guy that works at McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> if there's this, this guy does every detail of I your know, job the I same. Know. Yeah. I mean, that actually happened to me. I was working at a pizza restaurant, and they hired a <laughs> retarded guy, and the manager told me, he's like, he's a better employee than you. <laughs> I'm sure he is. And of I mean, it's not, he wasn't better at the job. I would just show up late or yeah, fucked up. He's or enthusiastic. Yeah. No, yeah. not even. <laughs> no? <laughs> he's like a nonverbal, like, zombie, basically. <laughs> but he did the work. Yeah, yeah. That guy was better. Yeah. He was just like, we need to, we need to clean the bathroom, Michael. would be like, oh. Yeah. Then he'd be in the bathroom for seven hours, but. He would do it. Yeah. I instead mean. Instead of just leaving. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> instead of being like, no. I'm not yeah, fucking instead of it. eating pizza, leaving and being yeah. like, no. <laughs> 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 I'm not doing any of that shit. <laughs> did you go no, here till you fire Yeah, me. of course. At, at PPJs? At every pizza restaurant I've ever worked at. Does you that mean leave every day with a free pizza? Uh, no. I mean, I would be... Damn, this bitch about to bite you. Damn, dude. yeah. She's mad at this. Whatever's going on here. The cat hates Nick's thigh. Yeah. Because it's too powerful. Because it's weak. No, no it's, it's too weak. It's, w- it's strong. It's weak and it's just It's too mad. strong for her. It makes her mad how weak your legs are. No, they're too strong. <laughs> yeah, no. Any restaurant you've ever worked at should give you free food. If Did they don't, you should steal it. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever work at a restaurant? I never worked at a restaurant, no. Mm, neither have I. Yeah. Any food service? Never in food service, no. Damn. My mom was a waitress, and she was like, don't do that shit. Yeah, my sister has s- served uh, waited tables for years now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yes, she has. She says OJ now comes in twice a week. Really? Yeah. Whoa. The cat about th- was about Pretty to Pretty sick, bite. right? Damn. Nick's little ass thigh. So no, my strong, my legs are strong. Um, do you think your sister's going to have sex with O.J. Simpson? I hope so. Does your sister know that me and her had sex? <laughs> I don't know if she knows that. Oh, okay. Well, I could ask her. Yeah. I'll yeah. get back to you, I guess. I'll yeah. Know. I mean, she was pretty pretty knocked out there. <laughs> oh, no. So you, you had sex with my si- sister when she was sleeping? or Yes. Okay. See, that's crazy because... I had sex with her when she was awake. We both did. I think that's in my rude, carriage honestly, on the way to my manor. Yeah. In a carriage? Yeah, me and Stav are on the way to my no. my, my chateau. <laughs> Where's your chateau? I forgot about it. Was I asleep too? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you sucked my dick and fucked. No, we both Adam's fucked sister. Adam's sister while we were drunk off absinthe. Mm. Your sister was asleep on the way to my chateau. No, I was sleeping too. This was back when I was the marquee. <laughs> Oh, I was Brooklyn. sleeping too, and I did it under Nick's orders because he was the marquee, and he I'm would the have marquee. my family killed if I said. I said otherwise. I was going to have his family killed. I'd rather. Have a I carriage. said, "Good sir, my name is Pierre." The uh, Marquis de Saint. Pierre Saint Toyota Viper. <laughs> oh. Pierre de Saint Toyota Viper. <laughs> the Viper. Is Good the sir, dog. come into my manor, aka this tent in a <laughs> Honda dealership. <laughs> I don't know how to get him out of here. <laughs> 20 minutes ago, he was a police officer. <laughs> now he's the marquee. <laughs> he's the marquee. He's fucking, he's, there's a sleeping girl <laughs> and some a, fat guy. And he's making he's the fat guy a, fuck the sleeping girl. They're raping <laughs> some girl in his tent. <laughs> and he, he, he keeps telling me he's a police officer in the marquee. <laughs> is that... Is that a style of rape where someone just makes other people have sex with each other? Yeah. I would guess so. It has to be, right? Yeah. Because I was crying. Yeah. Like you were the, crying when you were... Like the guy in... Um, <laughs> like the guy in... Um, I can't believe I'm going with this. Like the guy I have in no loyalty to anyone in my real life. Well, this is a fake person. I mean, it's, this isn't oh, your Oh, I forgot sister. it was even about your sister. We're oh, no, in the about, story... We're laughing about the guy at the Honda dealership. There's no continuity here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. for a while, this was me as the marquee. <laughs> yeah. Well, it turns out Nick is the guy. Nick's been the guy the whole time. This bit, <laughs> this bit is like a dream where it's like just changes every 10 That's seconds. That's right. Yeah. You know, sometimes if the show's bad, it's good to lean into sort of that sort of dream logic. I like mm-hmm. that. You know? Yeah. That's something I learned from the Jerry Bruckheimer, Don Simpson, oh, Charlie Rose <laughs> interview. I thought you were going to say you got to like let things breathe to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As Jerry says. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So anyways, <laughs> we're in the Honda deal. <laughs> so we're in the... And Nick then is dressed in a fucking full and revolutionary war Instantly, outfit. I know that the man for the, to play Toyota Viper... <laughs> Is Denzel, and for a number of reasons. 
Not only uh, I like that you're not only on your phone, but the microphone is just is gone. Just on your I shit. Mean, it's it's not, I texted him. Yeah, we already texted him. We said Adam. We're, to- we're, uh, in, we're in the group ask, chat. I'm asking him to bring my. We're in the group chat with the whole world. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, just text him on that group chat with the whole world. <laughs> the whole world talking about how your can dick you say, is smaller. Jamel, can you bring my jewel charger next to the couch on the left? Your dick is smaller than the um the whatever the cord or whatever we were talking about. But ba bum ba bum ba bum. He, my last text from him is at 4.19 a.m. You still up, Bubby? <laughs> we trying to kiss Jamel? I guess I was sleeping. You're trying to kiss him? No, he texted me that. He was oh, trying to kiss. Oh, you texted him, can I kiss you? <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking weird, dude. That's weird that you texted him that. He's, he texted me, And then you texted you him back. Me? No, you texted him No, back. I'm texting him right now. Yeah. yeah. Where did you text him? Can I kiss you? No, I was sleeping. Dude, I look. I'm hold on. You must have been asleep, having one of your Ambien gay fugues. That's that you right. Go on. When you take your Ambien, no, I ran out. <laughs> yeah. gay, you take Ambien, me and Dasha, you, you, you take it to go me into and a Dasha gay took fugue. All, <laughs> took all the Ambien. Do you stay up and like have a? Do you fight it so they can do weird shit? We stay up, um, yeah, and then, and then Dasha buys things on online. Like what? Things off of AliExpress, and then like we get it in forty-five to sixty business days, <laughs> mm-hmm. and then she's like completely does not remember buying any of it. It's a fun game, honestly. That is a fun game. Yeah. What kind of stuff do you buy? She was she bought um she bought some butt plugs. Nice. Um, <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> she stretch you out. She bought yeah for me. <laughs> um, she bought some some like weird. It was just like a fire what? hydrant in the middle of Adam's living room. <laughs> You're like, what is that for? And he's like, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> just a fire hydrant and then just like a fucking a lube dispenser with a pump. Yeah. Instead, yeah. Of, instead of a bottle. She buys like a lot of knickknacks. <laughs> a lot of stuff on AliExpress is like $5 or less. Interesting. Yeah. You ever been to that store Five Below? Yeah, of course. Great stuff. Great man. store. A bunch of shitty plastic toys. Mm-hmm. Buy you, you find you look for the poorest kid in the store, and you follow him around with his mom, and you uh-huh. wait until he his eyes light up at some toy, and then you walk over and you take every single one of them. You go, oh, I'm purchasing all of these, <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's uh, so fun, and it, it only costs about fifty dollars. Yeah, that's yeah, that's and for the for to uh, scar a child for life. The price the price of admission to Six Flags, you could just go to Five Below. <laughs> and and really rub it in a working mother's <laughs> face. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm purchasing all of these. If you want one, it's now two hundred dollars. <laughs> I don't I'm know. It's the free market, man. Uh, ma'am. <laughs> Have you ever heard of capitalism? Uh, ma'am, my name is Grover St. Clair. <laughs> I'm a, a marquee and a capitalist. <laughs> a capitalist. <laughs> the guy at Fibo is like, we got more in the back if you want. Ma'am. I'll purchase all of those as I well. I want those too. <laughs> It depends, ma'am. Does the free market love your son, or do you? <laughs> Capitalist. <laughs> Capitalist Grover St. Clair. <laughs> just, just, that's such a funny modifier. I am a capitalist, dude. I love it. I'm a marquee and a capitalist. I'm a marquee and a capitalist. <laughs> <laughs> but what that means to you is that you just buy toys that children <laughs> buy. Buy toys and try and sell them to children for double. Yeah, you just rip off yeah, poor yeah. single mothers. Mm-hmm. I guess that works. Uh, or try and make a different kind of... Arrangement with them. No, oh, yeah, you know a sexual saying? one. Well, possibly. Oh, ma'am, you have another option. You can buy me the toys I want, and in exchange, <laughs> I'll give your son <laughs> one of these. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what toy is that? PlayStation Four. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have four hundred dollars. Well, it looks like your son is going to die sad, <laughs> hating his mother, his slut mother. That wouldn't buy a PlayStation for a top hatted gentleman <laughs> or suck his dick in the, top <laughs> in the middle of or the dollar general. His dick <laughs> five below. Yeah. Ma'am, I already said I can just put my penis in one end of my top hat and you can put your face through the other and it will happen in private. <laughs> <laughs> is that top hat with a hole in the top? No top of the top hat. It's yeah. just a cylinder. Ma'am, I brought this antique photography equipment 
so you can drape. And I've replaced the camera with my dick. <laughs> and you can drape it over your face. I'll even let the young this chap play with a toy while you suck my dick. This is a simple business exchange in the <laughs> middle of the five below. This place of free market ideas. Yeah. Yeah, no, <coughs> we got a call earlier. He was living in the Honda dealership. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the same. He broke into a magic supply store <laughs> yeah. and got a top hat. <laughs> and now he's in the five below. <laughs> and he's trying to fuck rape women. Yeah. No, did he, what did he tell you? His name was like Toyota St. Clair or something. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's the yeah, same guy. He broke into the fucking magic store. <laughs> and one of the guys there obviously was told him about libertarianism. <laughs> yeah, I, we get a lot so of... now he's trying to rape and tell people <laughs> about the free market. We get a lot of calls about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's been in that shopping center for about the last 15 years. <laughs> yeah, we really don't know what to do with him. <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> you know, speaking of one of those things where you suck dick through a top hat, uh -huh. there was a Japanese game show where they tried to see if a straight guy... This is the kind of... This is the level of, like, game show that J Japan is on, which I respect so much. They had a straight porn star, and they were like, do you think a gay man can get you to s to bust your load? And he was like, no way. And they had like a gay porn star suck his dick on television, <laughs> but his head was in a little box. <laughs> uh -huh. And uh, they just uh, uh, like uh, an auditorium full of people watched these men have gay sex. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like cheering the gay guy on. Yeah. And he made him bust. <laughs> it was the show called The Mouth is a Mouth? I don't know. Basic it was so funny. A dude. hole is a hole. He was like this fat gay guy. Hey, you ever see that show, The Mouth is a Mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Vinny, no. No, Vinny, we haven't. Yeah. Where is Vin up? Where is Vin, man? I don't know, in Connecticut. What's up with Bam, dude? Any news on the Bam front? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been following him on Instagram. He, that tour. he lets people uh, come over to his house. For like three hours a day and use his skate <laughs> skate ramp. That's tight. He That's gave sick. out his his ga his gate code. Really? On Instagram, <laughs> he's like, "Yo, if you're trying to come <laughs> over and skate, my gate code is like should 1979." We go? Yeah, we should go, dude. Try to s and go skate with him. Just I could, yeah. You know, I think he's back into skating. Good for him. He's, get a he's returning board. to his roots. Should I get into skating? Yeah. Yes, I have a skater's physique. People have told me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You need a low center of gravity, uh -huh. so you can land. Uh, at, so the three sixty, you land it. You clean. have awkwardly large feet for your height. I actually do. You have like size fourteen feet or something. Thirteen. Thirteen. 13. Anywhere between eleven and a half, thirteen, depending on the shoe. The brand. Because I wear a very wide. Oh yeah, you have a. Wide My foot. actual size foot is eleven and a half quadruple wide. Damn. Yep. And my penis is, does not match that. <laughs> Which is a real shame. But what are you going to do? Kill yourself. What? Yeah. No, I won't. No. I'm back on this shit about how retards don't get paid as much. <laughs> that is fucked up, man. It's yeah. funny that they made that a law. Yeah. That you can pay them less. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> some guys like, so in, like some well. guys in like the fucking state legislature. He's like, all right, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put this right. to vote. Here's mm -hmm. here's my proposal. We pay retards less. This what do you is guys some think? common sense stuff that we can all reach across the aisle for. You're not gonna pay a fucking. This is I want I want to get bi bipartisan consensus. <laughs> yeah. We all hate the retarded. Let's reach across the aisle, Maverick style, yeah, listen, John McCain. This style. is great. This is an article from 2001, and just listen to how it's on Slate. Listen to how this language, oh God, like would not be acceptable. Has changed now. just days ago. Explainer answered the question: Does the law treat the insane differently than the retarded? <laughs> <laughs> However, the item did not explore the legal rights of the retarded ago. and others. It was 18 years ago. Oh, I thought you said Damn. 2011. No, I said 2001 was that 2001. long ago? Yeah. Oh. Did not explore the legal rights of the retarded in other areas, such as marriage, home ownership, and the right to eat their own poop. <laughs> are those I don't think that was there. Well, I am adding a, a little bit of flourish. Flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little, yeah. Put a little seasoning on How that. do you escalate? The American Association of Mental Retardation defines it. <laughs> Damn. Is that real? <laughs> yeah. Respect. I mean, I'm sure they've changed their name. Check it out. Why? Because of 9-11? Yeah. yeah. 
That's when it all. A changed. lot of people don't know this. Muhammad Atta had Down syndrome. Well, he just hated the usage of the R slur. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's not about America's imperialism. It's not about imperialism. Well, it's the imperialism of the R slur. They're the going non- to other countries, the making them art. use it. Yeah, yep. it's fucked up. Yeah, it's the now the American Association on Intellectual and Developmental Disabilities. Intellectual disabilities. Damn, that's mm-hmm. that's way worse. I than got the intellectual the disabilities. I'm the stupid. retard. Institute. How about a guy with Down syndrome who goes into a coma in 1998 and he comes out of the coma? <laughs> They're like, "Good news, you're not retarded anymore." He's like, "I'm not." They're like, "No, you're intellectually disabled." <laughs> 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 That's very funny. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> That's good news. Yeah. Take me to the five below immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Drive me to the Honda dealership immediately. That's so funny. It's like it's like saying you cured cancer by just changing the name. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which you could. Just like that like that same guy who just comes in there like this is a woman with her kid with Down syndrome being like, uh ma'am, uh I'm a medical doctor. My name is Price Cooper, <laughs> Dr. Price Cooper, and your son has Down syndrome. That'll be $500. <laughs> Excuse me. I've diagnosed him with Down syndrome. Mm-hmm. I'll be collecting my $500. Make the check payable to just give me cash. <laughs> just give me money. Make this, yeah, in yeah. fact, whatever you have in your pocket <laughs> doesn't have to be $500. If you could also purchase a PlayStation 4. <laughs> What do you mean I'm not a doctor? I'm wearing this fucking uh, oh, yeah. coat, aren't I'm, I? Don't I look the part? And it's like, no, that's a nightgown you tore in half. Yeah. That's a nightgown you scissored down the middle. Yeah. You're you're wearing women's clothes <laughs> from the fat girl section of Target. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. You're wearing the fat lady. It ain't over till the fat lady sings. Dude, I bet you maternity jeans are very comfortable. Yeah, you should, get, <laughs> you should straight up start wearing maternity <laughs> yeah, I'm clothes. I'm about to start wearing them. You know what? I, I was I was I was in Target the other day, and I was looking at the fat mannequins that are just now everywhere. There's just fat mannequins. Yeah, there. yeah, I, I was there the other Respect. day. Respect. Yeah. The other thing Good. too, if it's like Good. A, if this was like it's s- fat ladies though, I don't think they do fat. No, guys. they don't do fat men. What? Nobody gives a shit. No, about no, them. fat women. What yeah. the yeah. fuck? Well, it's like se- like this is bullshit. seven years ago. If you saw that, somebody would have been like. That's fucked up, dude. Yeah. That's really not nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it looks like a mockery. Yeah. And of fat people. Mm-hmm. But I guess that's what they want. They want to be laughed they at. They want to be laughed at? They well, they're as, forcing us. <coughs> well, they let me say something. They want to be laughed at and mocked. As the representative, I'll say that is not what we want. Yeah. We just want... We want... As a fat woman. As a fat woman. I think we should do the Israel model. As the man model, who's probably had... Which is what? And every single identity should have its own country. What do you mean? Mm. So every discernible identity uh-huh. should have its own country. You're saying like a a nation state or an a, F- a fat people? Do you have to choose? What if you're? There's probably yes. going to be a nation state. Sure. So there's like a fat people nation state. Yes. A dis a queer disabled yeah. Pakistani nation state. Yeah. Okay. Wait 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 wait. It's every single one, or is it like? They're general, but you get to choose which one you you get drafted into. Right, because couldn't you belong to multiple yeah, ones? Yeah, I'm fat. I'm also Sure, Greek. but then you have to develop a hierarchy of identities where it trickles down, and then within each nation state, there's different states that represent the subcategories. Oh, okay. Mm, it seems complicated. No, it doesn't. It's like you weight you weight your identity. So what's like, more I'm, important, I'm, I'm, gender I, or race? It de- that's an individual decision, and then mm. you, the, your your choice of where you, you weight live. your own identity. So it's not the state that. If you're like, your if you're like, I'm a gay black man that's 400 pounds, you would move to the gay country and the black state, and then the town for fatsos. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I see. okay. I like that actually. Yeah, but there's no variety though. You can't like. What if you you want to <coughs> fuck you know different kind of people? Yeah. What if you want to fuck straight Chinese? Yeah. Some a politician uh, <laughs> just walking in the UN. <laughs> My name is uh, Dingus Eljuwan. <laughs> Eljuwan. <laughs> <laughs> and I have come up with no. It's not urine, ma'am. <laughs> keep your hands off me. Keep your hands off. Take, do not touch my do super not soaker. Get it is not. There is not urine in this super soaker. It is just for my own. I'm protection. sorry. Is your name Mason? <laughs> is your name Mason? Because these are not your jars, unless that's your name. <laughs> I'm holding these jars <laughs> for my friend Mason. And it is not urine. 
It's not. I pissed all of these out myself. I brought them here. <laughs> what do you mean? No, it, I. they're not urine. Piss isn't... P- fuck. It's different. They're distilled. It's different. I, I ran them through a Brita filter. I've got them down in my basement cooling off <laughs> for 40 days and nights <laughs> and boil it down into pure phosphorus. <laughs> this is my invention. I'm an inventor. <laughs> I'm boiling piss. What happens if you boil piss down in salt? No, it boils down into phosphorus. Into phosphorus, literally. Yeah. That's wow. What, yeah. You, you, Can't you make light bulbs out of that? Uh, sure. Phosphorus. Well, phosphorus. phosphorus is is luminescent, so you can yeah. like mm-hmm. it's fo- yeah, like it's photoluminescent. So if you yes, expose it, it to light and then turn the lights off, it'll like light. Israel used white phosphorus in Gaza, which was like a terrible weapon. Yeah, you can make chemical weapons. Yeah. With your own piss. Yeah. With your own piss. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Was that what, like, um, the guy that, you know, like, those militia kind of guys, is that what they're up to? Like, the, what's his name? The guy that did Oklahoma City and stuff? Are they, like, making chemical weapons with their own piss? No? Ted, Ted Bunt. Well, I keep wondering, it's, it's not Ted Bunt. It's Ted not Kaczynski. Kaczynski. It's not. Timothy McVeigh. Timothy, Timothy McVeigh. McVeigh. I knew it was a T. Whatever. I don't. I don't know why. I Is there another that. McVeigh? Someone named McVeigh? Uh, the coach of the Rams. That's right. That's who I'm thinking about. Yep. He's a hot. young guy. Young, hot, gets he's nice pussy. He's got a hot, yeah. He does chick. have a hot girlfriend. Yeah. I think there are guys on the team that are older than him. Yep. He slams nice <laughs> pussy. <laughs> Sean McVeigh. Sean McVeigh. Belichick also slams old. Nice pussy. And his daughter, too. He slams his daughter? Does his daughter look like him? Yeah, she's nasty, and they kissed on the lips after he won the nice. Super Bowl. Would you kiss... You seem like the kind of person that would kiss your children on the lips, Adam. Only my male children. <laughs> it's inappropriate if I do it to women. Yeah, that's true. My dad kissed me on the lips for way too long. Yep. I think I had to have a talk, say, stop kissing. <laughs> I think it was like, I'm Dad, I'm... T- I'm 25 years old. <laughs> Dropping you off at college. Have a nice day, Eddie. Mwah. Give me that mouth. Show Papa what that mouth does, Adam. <laughs> what does that mouth do? What does that mouth do, Adam? <clears throat> you ever um, suck dick for money, Adam? <laughs> <laughs> um, how much Maybe money? Just on Jezebel <laughs> for five minutes. <laughs> how much money? What? How much money? I don't know. It's up to you. I said four money. I didn't determine the price. Yeah, if it was enough money, I'd do it. Yeah. So it was like, here's five hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars to suck a dick. Yeah, of course. Nice. Well, guess what, dude? Well, guess what? We got a guy here for five hundred thousand yeah, dollars. His name is his name is Titus Miles. <laughs> okay. He's a marquee, a capitalist, a magician. I'm a venture capitalist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm investing in getting my dick sucked by Adam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If you want to invest in that, we can have a discussion. You got to give me the five hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need fifty percent stake in your mouth from now on. <laughs> <laughs> I get to fuck your mouth whenever I want, and I get to recapture my principal. <laughs> what do you mean? That's not the agreement. The agreement is I suck this his dick, dude. Half, half you're up coming front, half after the bus. First of all, you're coming to terms. All right, just relax. Oh, Be a negotiation. Negotiation. I would love that. <laughs> I would love an episode of Shark Tank where it's like all of them pass and it's only the Fubu guy, and it's like, a girl. It's like yeah, it's like a girl. Yeah, <laughs> she's, got like, she's like cookies by Melissa, or <laughs> and he's like two hundred thousand dollars, ten percent take, but you got to suck my dick <laughs> right now. <laughs> I want that same thing, but with Mr. And just like dramatic shots of the woman's face and then up close on him tenting his fingers as they cut the commercial break. Yeah, he's not smiling bum, at bum, all. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. Coming up on Shark Tank, <laughs> will Melissa suck his dick? <laughs> Is Mr. Wonderful gay? I think I've asked this before. Yeah. Is he? he? He's not. He's Canadian. It's weird that his name is Kevin O'Brien. Kevin O'Leary. Yeah. yeah. You think his name would be like David Shimowitz or something. No, he's <laughs> just Irish. Look, just looking at he's him. He's one of your boys. <laughs> and then he's like, how you doing? My name is uh, Patrick O'Cleary. <laughs> he seems like someone that would pay men to, to suck their dicks. Oh, yeah. That's the vibe I get from him. Yeah. Which is not a bad vibe, I guess. That's just the impression that I get. 
Damn, Would I you... wonder what that guy's up to now. Because he's probably close to death, and he's like, fuck, I spent my whole life being in the Mighty Mighty Boss Tones? <laughs> <laughs> he's not near death. He's probably sixty. Yeah. No. Uh, is he that old? Yeah, for sure. Probably. Was his name Dicky Barrett, the lead singer of the Boston? Dicky yeah. Barrett's probably rich, dude. Are they from Boston, Massachusetts? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Boston's. So it's a pun. That's correct. Because like tones, like music. Yeah, born June twenty second, nineteen sixty four. So he's seventy eight years old. No, that's not right. Uh, that's not the math. Off the top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> just doing a little mental math. No, because my mom's sixty something, and she was born in the fifties. <laughs> yeah, he's fifty four years old, so he's close to death. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, and he's pro- look up his net worth. Damn, I guess that band's been because yeah, the band's been around since what eighty three. No, nice. That long, and they had one hit in the late nineties. Do you remember that movie with fucking uh, Mr. Holland's Opus? What was his name? Uh, Kevin Spacey. No, Patrick Swayze. No, whatever. It doesn't matter. Patrick Spacey. No, Mr. Holland's penis. The guy mm. from Mr. Holland's Opus. Hello, though. I'm the star of Mr. <laughs> Holland's. Richard penis. Dreyfus. Richard <laughs> Dreyfus. <laughs> Mr. Holland's open ass. Is <laughs> <laughs> Adam's favorite movie? Mr. Holland. Adam Mr. is Mr. Asshole's a young girl. No, Mr. Holland's. Like, oh, I wish I could open. conduct the opera someday. <laughs> Mr. Asshole's open. <laughs> <laughs> this is Richard Schreiber's holding his ass cheeks open. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck. That's a good one. He has a little sign above his ass that says Mr. closed and he, flip, he flips it around. <laughs> it says open. open. Put the little conductor thing in his ass and conduct it that way. His baton? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, yeah. It's a very damn good idea. What? What is a... Is it okay? This is gonna sound like a stupid question. Oh, he's the announcer for Jimmy Kimmel. Nice. Oh, he is. That's a cushy yeah. gig, probably. That's a great gig. He lives in Here LA. I he probably gets paid well. Getting sucked off by a man. That's Goldfinger. And he's from Rhode Island. Doing everything. Yeah, I Yeah, that's can not. That's not the money. To get man. sucked off by that's a man. That's Goldfinger. <laughs> Trying to keep my, my mouth on a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to suck another dick. That dick. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm, I'm so confused yes. about why these Geralds don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> these Geralds. <laughs> and I'm so confused. In New As York. I off, dudes. This city is what dreams are made of. One of those guys driving an Uber singing that to himself. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it for New York. <laughs> These lights will inspire you. Just <laughs> 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 paying off his $9 million tax medallion. <laughs> Poor fellow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this city is what dreams are made of. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it for New York. <laughs> I think Indian. I think a lot of Indian men are fans of Alicia Keys. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. <clears throat> ah, fuck, dude. Well, it's not the joke. Isn't that he would like Alicia Keys? Is that New York is never going to be nice to that guy? I, I no, I know. I'm saying. I think he's. A are, big you fan. Saying? are you saying? Are you saying? Maybe I am, dude. He now lives in Los Angeles. Dicky? Yeah. Yeah, he works on Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah. You get paid just to be like, and now Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah, for Wheel of Fortune they like uh Sajak films like f- seven episodes in a, a day. day. Yeah. And then they just shoot the entire year in like a two month period. Really? He's like <laughs> Yeah. Just Respect. Yeah. 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 That fucking rules, he's, dude. He, he's a really good um He's got great politics. Conservative <laughs> yeah. thinker. Mm. Um should we do a game show? Yeah. Well, if you can actually come up with a game show idea, if you can come up with a card game that they like in Vegas, like you'll be rich for life. What do you mean a card just any card game? If you can come up yeah, with a game or something. War. Yeah. There. I did you it. You didn't come up with it. Yeah, but I'll p- I'll be the one that pitches well, it. Well, he did come up with it, Adam. No, he didn't. He just said the name of one, a game. One, two, he three, came four. Up with it. He came up with the name of a game. I declare a card Yeah, he war. came up with... 
Like if I had to come up with the name of a movie and I said Titanic, I came up with See? it. See, no, See you're Adam? saying you have to come up with a game. So uh, what? So Blackjack. That one already exists. You fucking. They idiot. play that. That's the same. They already play that war. in Vegas. They play that in Vegas. They play war in Vegas no, too. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, don't pretend like you know. Yes, you they do. I'm from Vegas. They don't play war. Yeah, they do. No, they fucking don't, it's dude. A, yeah. Why are you mad? Because I came up with a fucking card game and you said blackjack like a fucking idiot. Mm. I didn't say blackjack. It must be weird being a Jewish family that lives in Las Vegas. There are plenty of Jewish families. A place families. Like, uh, that's about like the possibility of losing money. <laughs> a good chance. Yeah. Yeah. Did, did your family wake up every morning just in a cold sweat? Like, <gasps> I don't know. My dad for a while was gambling. Was he? Yeah. Because it's everywhere, dude. It's like you leave the supermarket, you pay for milk with a 20, and there's slot machines right after you check out. You're like, oh, I'll just put my change in the slot machine. And then, like, time just erases. You're there for three hours. You That's know? insane. Yeah. They had slot machines in, in laundromats. Do they have do they gas have prostitutes stations? in grocery stores? They too? don't have prostitutes the in Las Vegas. What Every other county in Nevada except for... Clark County. I thought they come up to you when you're playing and they're like, "Hey, those are those are waitresses." You suck your dick. Those are waitresses. Cocktail waitresses. waitresses. Will suck your dick. Evaded? No, cocktail waitresses like dress like scantily clad and bring you drinks. And you get free drinks if you're playing the game. No, no, no. It, again, the way I wanted to be in a fucking band slash gang as a child, uh-huh. I was led to believe from movies that there's whores that look nice that try and get you to fuck in Vegas. Well, yeah, there's, I'm sure there's a lot of prostitutes in Vegas, but it's not legal. Oh. Yeah. Well, are there at the grocery stores? It'd be funny if yeah, like at the, grocery the podcast store fails, just Adam in, like, pumps and, like, a <laughs> short red dress just walking up and down the strip. <laughs> just <laughs> like, working the block. <laughs> trying, to, trying to put that boy try, pussy on the street. Trying to get some money. <laughs> <laughs> Playing a slot machine. Yeah. I would never revert to street You're just having, <laughs> having sex with Nicolas Cage in a hotel room. He's drinking himself to death. Who was that? <laughs> Elizabeth something? Elizabeth Shue. Shoe. Elizabeth Shue. Yeah, she was she was pretty hot. Yeah, she was. She hot. didn't really work after that movie. She was yeah. in a couple of movies. I know she the kinda name. went away. I know the name and I don't really know anything about movies, so she must be kind of famous. There was another actress I thought about the other day. I couldn't remember. Patricia Arquette? No. I love that's her. a good one. She rules. Um I would love to smash, go in a time machine and smash. I would smash her now, honestly. It'd be funny if they had I just got replaced horny her during boyhood. Because she kind of stopped acting, but she's in boyhood. No, she didn't stop acting. She's she in two Oh, she's right in now. that prison Escape break show. Escape from Danamora. Yeah. Which I got horny while she was it's getting good, pounded. Right? You could see, like, you know. She gets she, fucked by the inmates? Yeah, she did. Sick. And you can't see her, that's like, dream, pussy dude. or tits, but you can see the part, uh, you know, the part that's like. When your pants are pulled down and you're like side profile, and you can mm-hmm. see like side her ass thigh. And Damn, ass she feet. was in a movie called Holes. I'm trying to go <laughs> see that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. The guy, Patricia Arquette, the, the guy movie who doesn't understand. Oh, yeah. The guy that doesn't know that movies are gay now. He's horny. Yeah, ooh, baby. <laughs> I can't wait to go. What the <laughs> hell is this? It's a bunch of faggot kids. <laughs> They're doing gay shit in the desert. <laughs> There's not a single hole in the goddamn thing. Man, nobody's fucking a hole. What the fuck? Yeah, she was in Escape from Dinner More, and then she was in that uh, other thing about that crazy girl, or that mom who had who kept pretending her daughter was sick. And oh, then yeah, yeah, yeah. She's some the guy mom from 4chan that. killed the was mom. Was it 4chan? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, like she Nick, gets an you internet show that, boyfriend. You showed, us that, you showed us that documentary. Your yeah, it's place. Munchausen by proxy. Yeah, yeah. that girl she, like, Gypsy Rose. Gypsy, mm-hmm. yeah. So She's in jail right now. Yeah, free yeah. Gypsy. Free Gypsy. Yeah. That guy, that guy killed her mom and then like, I think raped Gypsy Rose. Nice. I thought they were in love. Nah, nice, but dude. he, in that's, the documentary, that's cool. You think that's cool? I don't even hear what you said. <laughs> Murdering a woman and raping her daughter. <laughs> Maybe that's the kind of mom I'll be one day. Yeah, a Munchausen, Munchausen by, by proxy. proxy. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Convince you your can't son get sick. you can't get out of bed. You're too sick. Let daddy let papa let suck daddy, you off. Let let me give you some poison real quick <laughs> and just go take a long sleepy. Yeah. Now you're gonna like 
make your kid do baseball, but then not encourage him or really be supportive. In no, any way. no, I'm not putting my kid into baseball. Yeah, so your yeah, kid will be like, I'm I really want to play soccer. baseball, and you're like, no, you're not doing that. My dad made me do it. My dad made me play no, baseball. So you're gonna, you're gonna, gonna just, you're gonna negate, you're negate everything no, I'm gonna that put your them dad into did soccer it's by a not letting your sport. kid do anything he wants. Baseball is just standing around. Well, either soccer, way, you're running the whole you time. You will be a performatively uh, uh, supportive soccer father. Yeah, not you'll spend most of the time talking to the other dads being like, my dad was such an asshole to me during... And your kid's scoring, you're not even paying attention. <laughs> well, my dad my dad was so bad to me. Well, he has to work for my attention. That's true. And that inspires him to be a better soccer player. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? And then one day he'll be at the World Cup, and I'll be talking to some guy sitting next to me about my, my dad. And he'll score the winning <laughs> goal. Because you just... He's convinced I'm not watching. You're gonna have a, you're gonna have a son. You guys are gonna end up in a gray garden situation. <laughs> <laughs> just just two two old big Adam and little Adam. Yeah, little Adam's like I I've been doing some open mics and Adam's like I was a much better comedian. Yeah, I was the funniest girl in 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 New York <laughs> in those days in Southampton. I yeah. used to yeah we would go out to West Egg with. With Clarence and Toyota St. Clair. <laughs> he was a baron, you know. He was a marquee. A marquee. <laughs> Back then, New Jersey had marquees. Uh, I can't wait to see that, Adam. Well, well folks, listen. Come see us in Canada. We're going to be there um, in June, which it is now already. They added a second show for Vancouver. Vancouver. It sold out. We will now have a show on the 17th, a Monday. So come see us then. Um, or wait, I'm sorry, the 24th? I don't fucking know. Just go to Come Town Don Events. We're going to Toronto on the 14th. Uh, we're going so, and then the other ones I forget, but Come Town Don Events. And then also, I will be in Los Angeles, uh, in a week at the Lyric Hyperion. I'm doing some new stuff. It's a cheap show. Ten buckaroos. Uh, come see me. It'll be a fun time. And if you're in Canada, come see the boys. Goodbye, everyone.